Hey Kayla, thanks for sending another question. Pardon my sideways picture here. So we have a right circular cylinder and we're looking for the instantaneous rate of change of the volume of that cylinder with respect to the radius. That part is very, very important. It's gonna tell us what we're taking the derivative with respect to when r equals eight, also very important. So whenever I have these instantaneous rate of change problems or related rates problems, which you probably will be doing as well, I like to write down what I'm actually looking for. It helps me to identify when I've gotten to the end of the problem. So we're looking for dv dr specifically when r equals 8. They've given us the height, or I'm sorry, the volume of this specific uh, right cylinder, which is 4 pi r squared. We have v alone on the left-hand side, which means we can start differentiating with respect to r. So differentiating the left-hand side, the derivative of v with respect to r is just dv dr. And differentiating the right-hand side, 4 pi is just a constant. We can pull that out front. And we can differentiate r squared using the exponent rule. So we're going to pull that exponent down in front and we're going to drop the value of the exponent by 1. So this is just going to become r to the first, or just r. So we have dv dr now. We're ready to input the value of the radius that they would like us to input. So we'll keep that 4 pi, and the 2, of course, as well, and inputting 8 for r. We get this mess, which simplifies to 64 pi. And of course, we're gonna to need to put some units on this as well. So the units for volume, you know, let's actually look at what this is equal to so we can find out what our units are. The top units are gonna be volume. So that's gonna be feet cubed. And the units for your radius are gonna be feet. Kind of convoluted, but your units in this case are actually feet cubed per foot. So this would be your final answer.